In today's video, I'm getting the chance to unbox, set up, and give you my first impressions on the Galaxy Watch 6, showing you some of the cool features, talking about what's new, and ultimately giving you some of my final first impressions on using this really cool watch up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and uh, on this channel I do tech reviews, including smartwatches. So we are unboxing today the Galaxy Watch 6. So exciting to get the chance to show it to you guys and talk to you about all the cool features. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's take a look at the Galaxy Watch 6. So two sizes available for the Galaxy Watch 6. The 40 millimeter, which as of today is retailing for $299, or the 44 millimeter, which is retailing for $329. This one you're looking at that I pre-ordered uh, is the 40 millimeter. Doesn't even say Galaxy Watch 6 on the front, just says Galaxy Watch. Uh, we'll just take a quick spin around the back. On the back, we see Galaxy Watch 6. So this is the uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth edition. There are LTE editions that you can get as well. Um, in addition to this, they also sell the Galaxy Watch Classic, which is the uh, kind of bulkier version that has the physical rotating bezel. That's the, uh, the ring that goes around the outside. Now, that is considered the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If you order from Samsung's website, uh, you can get different types of bands. This is the Sport Band, and I went with Silver. Now, Sport Band is going to be the uh, silicone build. There's also an Extreme Sport, which I've had on my previous watches. The Extreme Sport has the funky hole design in the middle, which looks really Really cool uh, and then in addition to that there's also leather that you can get or fabric now because I got in on the pre-sale they also shipped a black uh, fabric band which came included so let's unbox this and we're just gonna slide this off so let's pop this open we got these things which I'll take a look at here in a minute there is the watch itself now I know previous unboxings they actually included the uh, band with it and it was all attached and now apparently when you order the watch you get everything separate so the band's going to come separate and we've got the watch piece in the actual box look at how small this guy is we've got the back with the sensor layout and you can kind of see what the uh, body is going to look like so this has an aluminum build and very lightweight I'm going to be comparing this to uh, the Galaxy Watch 5 here, either in this video or in another upcoming video. So let's go ahead and open this box. And we have our charging puck, just noting that it has a USB-C port. And we can just take the watch and we'll go ahead and stick it right on there to charge it up. And a big shout out to Carol Mantha and It's Axel, recent viewers uh, on this channel to find Tinker. Tinker is this little hidden robot that looks just like this guy in my shirt. I hide him in every single video on this channel and he's going to briefly pop up at some point during this video if you are the first person to let me know the correct timestamp when he pops up in this video down in the comments section below. I could be giving you a shout out in a future video as well as I will add your name to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So I'm not actually sure what these are for. I'm doing the uh, Galaxy Watch trade in program where I'm actually going to trade in the five uh, to get a discounted price here for the six so I'm thinking that's what these are for didn't really come with any explanation it does come with the uh, quick start guide and kind of gives us instructions here on charging and installing the bands and let's go ahead and open these bands can't get my fat fingers in the package <laughs> got the silver band very slick looking it's got a very soft touch to it um, so these new bands oh look at that so they have these buttons on them instead of the uh, traditional uh, prongs that they've had which if you've watched my previous videos that has been one of my gripes is get rid of that little prong so here is the one from my uh, previous galaxy watches you can see you gotta use your thumb to get in there with that little uh, prong and it's really a pain in the butt They've now replaced that with the uh, the quick release button. Got the uh, fabric band. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see if I can get this one out. There we go. Oh, 
Looks like this just kind of... Ooh, interesting. Let's see if we can get this guy to turn on. Let's give it some charge. All right, it comes with like 68% charge. That's cool. So let's go ahead and attach the new band. So the button on the bottom, you really got to get your thumb in there, but you'll notice that when I'm pressing down that button, so that's retracting the pins that are on the uh, watch band. And here we go. Here is the Galaxy Watch 6 with the sport band. So the sport band, you just figure out what size you want, and then the band actually wraps underneath so it keeps it from hanging out. Let's see if we can pop this back off and then we'll take a quick try on the uh, fabric band. So here is the fabric band installed. First off, it has like a reflective inside to it. Uh, so you can kind of see very interesting texture, uh, almost like a mesh, but it's not, you know, you can't really see through it. You've got your Velcro points here and then there's a little nub, so you actually can take the whole thing apart, but it kind of has a stopper uh, kind of preventing you from pulling it all the way out. So with it expanded all the way, I can just slip my arm through, just have my arm turned upside down, and then I can pull it to uh, the tightness that I want and then go ahead and Velcro it on. I will say it's fairly comfortable. I was kind of thinking maybe it would be kind of itchy so far. It's not. Now I haven't uh, worn this in the heat or anything, so I'm not quite sure if I'm sweating how this is going to work out. It's got a slick look to it, and uh, I'm interested in trying it out. Now, this retails on Samsung's website right now for $49.99, $49 US dollars. Um, so definitely not a cheap watch band. Now, the silicone bands as well, uh, also retailing for that $49.99. So 50 bucks gets you that right there. This is the Galaxy Watch 6, the Galaxy Watch 5. Uh, I've got the fabric band on this Galaxy Watch 6. Now these new bands like this fabric band and this band here that I was showing you a moment ago have these quick release buttons on it. It is the same 20 millimeter sized band as the older bands that had the little peg that you would use to get your finger uh, across. So I tested both of these and I'll just quick show you here. The older bands uh, from like the Galaxy 4, Galaxy 5, those will work with the Galaxy 6. And then these uh, quick release bands that they're now selling with the Galaxy 6, those are also backwards compatible. So those will work on the Galaxy 5, the Galaxy 4, any of the 20 millimeter sized watches. I'm curious, uh, what do you guys think of that quick release button for the band? Uh, do you think it's a good improvement or what other improvements do you think they should make to future Galaxy watches? Let me know down in the comments section below. So let's see if we can hook up the watch to my phone. You're going to want to download the Galaxy wearable app and I've already registered. If this is your first time, go ahead and register for your account. Get yourself to the screen here where it's asking you to uh, kind of shows your dashboard and there's the three lines that you can tap on. You can go to add new device. It's scanning for devices to add and it shows the Galaxy Watch 6. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. So we've got a pairing request. I'm gonna go ahead and pair. Numbers seem to match. I'm gonna allow it access to my calls and we're gonna confirm. So both on the phone and the watch, things are confirmed. And now it's downloading software. Check your phone to complete the setup. We'll let it go through this. It says install Galaxy Watch 6 Manager. You need the plugin to control your watch with the Galaxy Wearable app. So it's actually having me install the Galaxy Watch 6 plugin. Let's go ahead and install that. So the plugin is installed, and I'm going to jump back to my wearable app. From this point, I'm going to sign in to my Samsung account. So you can choose whether you want it to report your diagnostic information, uh, location information. I'm just going to agree to those and then I'm going to allow it to get automatic updates. So from this point, we're just adding a watch backup and uh, we can also install the Samsung Smart Switch. So it's a smart switch gives you the freedom to move your contacts, music, photos, calendar, text messages, device settings, and more to your new Galaxy device. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue back in the app. Smart Switch uses these permissions. 
So all the different stuff that's on my phone will allow access to it. Okay, it finally finished uh, with its setup process. Let's take a closer look at the watch. Let's get to the fun stuff, walking through the uh, the interface and some of the ins and outs of the Galaxy Watch 6. Just gonna give you a uh, overview of everything that's involved. We start off with this very groovy watch face. Now you can just long press down on the screen to scroll through the different watch faces that are available. Um, all sorts of very cool and uh, very bright watch faces that have different animations. Um, I like the, on this AMOLED screen, so we've got increased pixels, uh, 432 by 432 versus the 396 by 396 pixels that were available on the Galaxy Watch 5. We also have uh, increased uh, or an upgraded chip inside this thing, so this has the uh, Exynos 930 versus the uh, 920 that was in the Galaxy Watch 5. And they've upgraded the RAM, so we now have two gigs of RAM versus the one and a half, uh, still giving you 16 gigs of storage, which is good uh, for downloading all the different apps available, as well as if you like storing music on the watch, uh, you can listen to music right from the watch without even needing to bring your phone with you. You can just connect up any Bluetooth headphones or earbuds, and this watch actually features Bluetooth 5.3. So to navigate around the watch, you can either swipe in different directions, or you can just move your finger along the edge. That actually is the digital bezel that uh, allows you to scroll through all sorts of different uh, options, not only just different menus, but you'll see as we see different information on the screen, different lists and things, you can use this digital bezel to scroll up and down. So as I'm going through these different tiles, we'll just do a quick brief description so you can see your health stat information. Of course, any of these tiles you can just tap on to see more information. This is Samsung Health. So we can see steps, active time, calories, all sorts of health information. To go back on any menus, you can just swipe back. Uh, let's keep going through our tiles here. This is different exercises. So if I was going to start a run, I can just go into running. It's going to start giving you a little intro. And then it's going to go ahead and try and start that exercise. From this point, you can scroll down. You can see any other health stats or workout zones while you're trying to do the workout. To finish, you can just swipe back, go to finish. That's going to, to finish the run. Uh, and then from that point, that adds it to your workouts in your Samsung Health app. Uh, in addition to workouts, you have more, you have a different screen that gives you health stats. Uh, what's cool is this will show you things like your heart rate, um, your stress. So you can do all sorts of different measurements with this watch. Uh, this is going to include things like a skin temperature sensor, body composition. It's going to track your heart rate, your SpO2. Uh, and coming soon, blood pressure reading. Now in the United States, this feature is not available yet because it hasn't been approved by the FDA, but uh, that is something that supposedly is coming here soon as far as a useful feature for the watch. It also does sleep tracking. I haven't had a chance yet to uh, actually wear this while I've been sleeping, but uh, if it's comparable to previous versions of the watch, uh, it's going to track everything from light sleep, deep sleep, REM, uh, and give you all that information. Now, something that's been upgraded in this watch is the uh, tracking for your oxygen level and your heart rate. So typically on previous Galaxy watches, it has used LED lights on the back, a green and a red, to essentially track all of your, uh, your vitals, your oxygen levels and your heart rate. They've actually switched to an infrared tracking for your sleep. So if you have any of the previous Galaxy Watch models and you've noticed that green or red light, maybe that's keeping you up at night, they have now changed that for the Galaxy Watch 6 hoping that that doesn't keep you up. So that's kind of an interesting upgrade feature that they've done. Uh, going in here so you can see, you can do on the fly measurements such as your heart rate. We can just go ahead here and uh, it'll tell me 74 beats per minute. You can do this with a lot of different features with this watch. So we've got sleep tracking. It'll also do what's called a body composition measurement. 
And uh, so uh, even though I unboxed this here, it's been a day or two since I've had the watch coming back and actually getting the opportunity here to show you the uh, different features. So that's why it says here yesterday's um, recordings. But to do a body composition, essentially as an example here, you can go to measure. It's going to confirm my weight. And then I'm going to take my two fingers and just place them on the buttons. And this measurement will take about 20 or 30 seconds, but essentially I'm just touching the two buttons on the right side of the watch. It's making the connection with my fingers, and this is going to give me a readout here at the end, showing me things like my weight, skeletal muscle, uh, fat mass, body water, and then an overall body analysis. So kind of a cool measurement feature that you have on the watch. You can also do things like the SPO2 tracking, the ECG. Now the only problem with the ECG that I have found is I don't have a Samsung Galaxy phone. So uh, unfortunately I can't use the ECG feature. I've got a Google Pixel 6 phone right now. The uh, ECG only works with being able to download the Samsung Health Monitor app on a Samsung phone partner device to work with this. So this feature, unfortunately to me, is not available, but if I had a Samsung phone, it would be. Uh, lots of cool features, world clock, uh, the SpO2 blood oxygen level reading. Again, you can take this on the fly, just doing a quick measurement. Move your watch higher on your wrist, which I'm going ahead and doing. Place your elbow on the table. So we've got that set. Let's go through here. Hold your wrist near your heart and then start measuring blood oxygen. So we'll do this real quick. So in coming back here, it was able to show me that I have a 97% uh, blood oxygen level and then 62 beats per minute. You can also add more tiles to the watch. Uh, if I wanted to do stress tracking, that is another feature that's on here under the Samsung Health. And essentially you can just go ahead and add that tile. Now that gets added to my shortcuts. Uh, and again, you can just measure your stress on the fly. So we can see that uh, at this point I'm not stressed. The uh, little dot is all the way on the green and uh, just a whole bunch of different health tracking options on this watch. So if you swipe up from the bottom of the screen, this takes you into your apps. And this watch is running Wear OS 4. And uh, you can see all the different apps by, again, just using that digital bezel to scroll through. You can also just swipe up or down. Tons of different apps to choose from. You can download more by going into the Play Store. Uh, everything from music apps, productivity apps, even games and things, uh, as well as more watch faces. I've done all sorts of different videos on my top watch faces and top apps for things like arcade games, productivity, music, health, and more. Those are going to be in my Galaxy Watch playlist, which will be linked down in this video description. And real quick, if you're enjoying this video, take a second, smash that like button as it helps out this video, this channel, and I greatly appreciate it. The watch also features the always on display mode, so you'll notice that it's going to give you a different screen from the normal screen if you have that activated. Now, of course, that's going to drain the battery a little bit faster. Speaking of the battery and settings, so you can swipe down from the top of the screen. This is going to take you into quick settings. This is going to allow you to do everything from restart the watch, go deeper into settings, uh, mute the watch, or turn on different vibrations. Now the watch does have a built-in microphone speaker for taking phone calls, so you can talk right from the watch. It also has a built-in speaker where if you wanted to listen to music and just use the mini speaker in the watch, you can do that as well. You can change things like brightness, turn on the flashlight. It also has a water lock. So this is 5 ATM, uh, IP68 uh, rated, military grade. So you can take this thing in the shower, swimming. Uh, you can turn on that water lock, and that's going to keep the screen from being activated with uh, any water that's touching the watch. Also features things like Find My Phone. Now, we were talking about the battery. The battery, uh, you can go into settings here and actually see more battery and device information. This has uh, got an upgraded 300 milliamp hour battery versus the 284 that was in the Galaxy Watch 5. So not that big uh, of an improvement of a battery, but slightly bigger. However, this is uh, running Wear OS 4, so that might also eat away at the battery a little bit. I'll be interested in testing this to see exactly how much life 
I can get out of the battery. I know previous versions like the Galaxy Watch 5, I've previously been able to get about a day to a day and a half's worth of battery, but still almost charging just about every single night. Swiping to the left is gonna bring you in any notifications, so text messaging, social media updates, uh, emails, things like that are all gonna pop up in this area. Uh, and then you can always tap on any of those notifications to get more information. So overall, tons of different things you can do with this watch. Not really a ton of limitations. Um, you have so many different options with this smartwatch. The Galaxy Watch 6 is definitely a fun piece of tech to put on your wrist to give you lots of different options to stay connected in this digital world. So I'm interested to know your questions and your thoughts on the Galaxy Watch 6. Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. My name is Jeff and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to check out the other Galaxy Watch videos I've done on this channel and I will see you in the next video.